What's up guys, it's Professor Dynamite, and today I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how to train your gags and the fastest way to level them up. Okay, so, I'm going to be going down the list, I'm going to be going in order from tune up all the way down to drop. But before I do that, I'm going to give a tip for any gag that you get when you just first unlock it and you want to get it past that. Level 1, level 2 stages, those are when the gags aren't really that useful. So, first thing you're going to do is go to an invasion, and then after you go to the invasion, go to Welcome Valley, because Welcome Valley is a sub-district of whatever district you're in. So, when you get in here, you just go out onto the street. Okay, and as you can see, it's not really an invasion, it's just bunch of normal cogs. Let's see if I can find a level one. When you go to the fight, you still get double XP. So let's go ahead and defeat this cog. And there we go, we get double experience, so you get plus four, plus four, and that's probably the, that's the best way to train until you get your gags to about level four, or th level three or four, and then after you do that, you can go ahead and move on from doing this. I'll be showing you how to train tune up, so the first thing you're going to do is go to, an, go to a lower tier cog invasion, and you want to find a five story building. If you can't find a five story, a four story will work too, but it's just not as good. And so basically what you want to do is take a friend with you that needs to train tune up too. And you two just go up to the build normally until you get to the fifth to get to the top floor. And then what you're gonna want to do is save a cog or two and just let them damage you over and over again and just tune up each other and you're basically just gonna be able to get a bunch of free tune up points. You should be able to get a couple hundred from doing this. And it's a really quick way to level up your tune up. Okay guys, this is going to be how to train your trap. So, what you want to do is get a friend that has lure and get him to come with you into a building. So, it's pretty good. Like, if you just find somebody that wants to train lure and then you need to train trap, because you two can just train together and you guys can get a bunch of points. Like I said, just get into an invasion, find a four or five story building. We walked around for like five minutes trying to find a five story building. We went to Daisy's Garden, Minis, and the Berg, and we couldn't find one, so I just did a four story. But pretty much, you just want to save your lower trap for the lower floors, and when you get up to like four and five, that's when you want to start using your actual, like, pretty good trap. But I would recommend you get to like at least level three before you start. Going and doing buildings and stuff. But yeah, Jelly Rollins helping me again with this one. Thank you to him again. And if you do this, you should be able to get a good 200 trap points per build, and that's a pretty quick way to level up. Guys, I'm gonna be showing you how to train water. I'm in a five story building with the name dropper invasion. Honestly, you might want to bring a friend along for this, but I just couldn't find anybody, so I just did it by myself. Okay, so pretty much you're gonna want to blur. And then take them all out one by one, and then save. I want. I would save one, and pretty much after you save that one, all you're gonna do is just keep passing until it becomes unlearned and unlearned again. It takes a little bit. It might seem kind of boring, but you're gonna get a lot of points for doing that. You should. I mean. Fifth story building, I'm serious. You should be able to get a couple hundred just from doing this. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's so alright. I'll show you guys if I can actually hurry up and finish this. But yeah, like I said, I'd recommend bringing a friend because I'm already down to 52 laps and if you're by yourself, it's a lot harder to do this because you're going to keep getting damaged over and over again. But if you bring a friend that's patient, it's like you could do really good and you can get a lot of points. Yeah, pretty much what you're going to do is just pass. And then I'm going to unlayer and then you just layer them again and still, like, as you can see for Hypno Goggles you used to get 36 points so you're going to get 118 alone just off of 3 Hypno Goggles. So basically you're just going to keep doing this until you get your layer to a good level. Hey guys, for throwing Squirt I'm just going to put them into one part together but what you want to do is do a five story building. I'm doing a four story because I couldn't find a five story, but the be it works better with a five story because you get times six instead of times five on the fifth floor. But pretty much what you're gonna wanna do is just find some friends that need to train throw and squirt also, and you guys just do five story buildings at, with an invasion. And that's the that's pretty much the fastest way you can level up the square. But you should already have it at a decent level anyway, because what you should do is when you first start the game, just do the Welcome Valley glitch for all your Toontown Central Toon tasks. And that should help you get your throw to about level 4. Throw square to about level 4 by the time you get out of Toontown Central. Hey guys, this is going to be how to train. Drop. I don't have drop, so I had to have somebody to come with me and do this. But pretty much what you're gonna do, what I'm gonna do for drop is you get somebody to come with you, and you want to get them to sound or squirt, and it'll stun the cogs and make it have more accuracy. But you want to use it. You don't want to go too far above the level of drop you have because drop's really inaccurate. Basically what you're going to do is find an invasion that's not too high and get a 4 or 5 story build and then you just sound and drop Sorry, I'm just hopping but Pretty much what you're going to do here is sound, squirt and throw, stun with the cogs and so just to tackle and have your friend or you whoever need to try and drop just get them to drop and it gives it a better chance to hit. Anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It helps me to grow. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.